Anyways, uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about what we're seeing here as we make our way down here. We're leaving right now what's called the Cascade Mountain, and when we dock, we'll be at the base of what's called the Coastal Mountain. We're traveling at a vertical descent of 500 feet at an angle of 37 degrees. Right now, we're making what's called a mountain pass. Basically, what that means is that we're leaving one mountain range and going to another, okay? So, you'll notice that we have, obviously, this body of water. This is the Fraser River. It's one of the longest rivers in the world. It's over 1,300, so 1300 <laughs> kilometers in length, or about 1,000 miles long. It's the largest producer of the spawning salmon. And if you're wondering where the Fraser River actually <coughs> starts, it starts at an area uh, just on this side of Jasper, a small little area called Tet June Cache. And it actually starts as a little trickle down outside this little mountainside on the side of a bridge. And it, of course, it flows like it does now just beneath it through Hell's Gate. I think it's pronounced Tijon Cache. Tijon Cache, there you go. There's somebody who lived See? <laughs> See? I tell you, Aaron, I'm telling you, I learn more about doing this every day, I'll tell you. Um, but you're right, that probably, it sounds like better pronunciation. <laughs> the, um, now a lot of people want to know what is Hell's Gate, where is Hell's Gate, how did it get its name? Hell's Gate is actually this section of water right below us, it's this narrow white water that we're passing over right now. It is the deepest and narrowest part on the river. It was actually uh, given its name by an early explorer by the name of Simon Fraser who came through here in June of 1808. Instead of actually uh, canoeing through this section of water, what he did was threw his canoes down the river and actually made his way along these cliffs behind us using ropes and ladders and scaffolding that were hung high above by his native uh, people that were on his trip. In the process, as his men made their way along these cliffs, some of his men actually fell from those cliffs into the water below and were swept away. Simon went, later went to uh, write in his diary that this was a land where no human being should ever venture, for surely we have encountered the gates of hell, and that is how this section of water became known as Hell's Gate. Did I do that right? Is that okay? Is that, yeah. You're happy with that? Okay, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, on the way back up, they'll be like, okay, you did this, this, this. Um, so um, now we want to tell you a little bit about Hell's Gate. Hell's Gate, of course, the narrowest and deepest part. It is 110 feet wide. The water depth here today is over 120 feet deep. Twice the volume of water actually flows through here in one minute, then flows over Niagara Falls. That's over 200 million gallons of water per minute. If you get want an idea of how high the water can actually get through here, in 1948, it was actually deep enough to take out this red bridge behind us, just to give you an idea of how high the water can get. And I can tell these folks on board are very impressed by that statistic. Uh, how, uh, how long has it been since been that long? Actually, um, it's been a while. Uh, in 2000, and what year is it now? Nine? 2006. Some of us BCers will remember when we had that big ice flow up in the Prince George area, when eventually that all came down and melted. It actually got up just below that black line on the uh, high water marker across the uh, river amount of water that comes through there at that Feel free to walk down there if you wish. It's good for picture taking up and down the river. Washrooms, by the way, are right around the corner. You may or may not have already heard, but we are actually uh, a, uh, an official haunted location through a group called the British Columbia Ghost and Haunting Research Society. Um, boo! <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, so uh, if there's something weird that happens to you that's uh, unexplainable or you find that rather strange, we'd like to hear about it. And uh, But our ghosts are friendly. They're only here to show you a good time. Like Deb says, they've got some great lunch specials up in the uh, Simon Cafe. And the girls just made a fresh batch of fudge this morning. Whenever you are ready to come back up, you just line up down here behind the gate and we'll be right back down to pick you up. So we're glad you're here and enjoy your stay.